Hi, Cancer. Welcome back to my channel. It's Dina Case, Casey Nicole, back again with the shenanigans here on the Netflix Network, my love. This is your what you need reading, just like the weekend says, honey. Other folks may be what you want, but Netcase is what you need, okay? So remember, Cancer, the messages are general. They may not be for every Cancer out there, so be sure to go with what you know. And remember that time is fluid. It moves like water. It could be past, present, or future energy, okay? Everybody who's already subscribed to my channel, I want to thank you so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm my road dogs. I'm my ride or dies. I really thank and appreciate you all for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel now because, like I said, it may not be what you want to hear all the time, but I'm what you motherfucking need, okay? And I guess I just have to say I apologize for being a little harsh on you guys. I may come off a little harsh, you know. I have queries <laughs> several places in my chart, okay? So this retrograde really affected me. This Aquarius, these Aquarius placements, the, these Aquari Aquarius planetary placements are really affecting me. And I was raised by very strong black women. I was not given any handouts in this world. I was actually victimized a lot. So I have become kind of blunt. I'll put it like that. But not everyone operates that way. So I appreciate you guys' patience with me. But just know that this shit is real, okay? So Cancer, what is the most prevalent issue for my Cancer's guardian angels in the near future? What is the most prevalent issue coming towards my Cancer's? Okay, light, 19, which kind of was reversal. Maybe there's a lack of hope, lack of faith that you're dealing with here. Ooh, sacral chakra, number two. There's a lot of orange here. I feel like you guys, Cancer, are a little horny. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I feel like y'all may be a little horny, a little fiery, okay? Who okay? Maybe you're hoping mm, that you mm, mm. the D and the P. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the light card in the traditional tarot deck. We're using the psychic tarot, but this is the sun card. Ooh, so you be dealing with a Leo. You about to be fucking a Leo? Okay, I don't know, but something about happiness and the fact that you are losing hope or happiness in a situation. This card reassures you that this is your time to be in the light. No matter what's happening around you, prosperity and bliss are promised. It's like you're reaching for the light. You can see the light. It's just within your grasp. You're almost, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I think that's what this is signifying, okay? So it says, no matter what's happening around you, prosperity and bliss are promised. The qualities of this brilliant card are pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. The light always brings forth new birth and constant renewal of life. This is one of the best, if not the most positive cards in the deck, and it's yours. This is now your moment to shine. The radiance from within will be there for all to see. As people become attracted to the rays of your spiritual light, and by being compassionate, generous, inspiring, and a leader, many will benefit as they feel the warmth emanating from you. Be discerning, but also be open to whatever or whomever you're attracting for your rays reach far and wide. Wow, Cancer. I feel like y'all are coming out of a little bit of, of, of a depressive mode or a depressive state where you didn't have a lot of hope. You didn't have a lot of vibrance. Everything felt lackluster and you're coming out of it, okay? It says it's reaching far and wide. People can see you, okay? 10, new beginning. Okay, it says the light card reminds you that because of its power, nothing remains in the dark. Through its illumination, truths and certain paths before you begin to emerge. Okay, so through its illumination, truths and certain paths before you begin to emerge and can be surely seen. Using the energy of positive thoughts and continually thinking about the happiest and most joyful of memories will light the path before you even more brightly and attract exactly what you're emanating. Keep on shining. Wow. So I really feel like you guys are feeling very confident with that sacral chakra at the bottom. I feel like you guys are feeling very sexual. I'm going to be honest with you. You're feeling very attractive. Okay. People are attracted to your light. Some of you guys could be having a baby. You're glowing. Okay. Or your skin has been glowing lately. I feel like you guys are coming out of a very depressive state and a time where you had not the best of attitudes, Cancer. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so let's see what is the major obstacles for my cancers. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, my loves. What are the major obstacles dealing with this most prevalent issue for my cancers? 
guardian angels what are the major obstacles for my cancers okay soul lesson presence crown chakra presence to me is confidence your aura what what vibe you give off okay that's your presence it says magnifique so magnificent number 25 at the bottom we have oh another soul lesson perception third eye chakra so i feel like you have to believe what you see yourself to be in your mind like your presence you have to exude the confidence level that you see for yourself or you want to have for yourself and then that will be the perception that people receive from you so i believe people have been getting the wrong idea about you or maybe your third eye chakra is blocked your crown chakra could be blocked to where you're coming off a little bit more dark and negative than what you truly are cancer I feel like there's a blockage here or there's something that you, there's something that you're having to realize about yourself and the way that you come off. I feel like you're starting to understand with your third eye, your intuition is telling you that maybe you've been coming off a little funky lately or you've been a little depressed or discouraged and you haven't been feeling very pretty or handsome and that's starting to kind of feed off into how people see you and you're realizing that okay so soul lesson present is presence acknowledge your gifts and talents this card is asking that you truly acknowledge your gifts talents and potential cancer you have more to offer than you realize and the world is aching for you to come forth to give people hope wow Keep progressing to being a truly inspiring leader for positive change. Through the alembic of your heart, expand your capacity to self-love even more. Make a decision to turn every kind of attention you get into gratitude and hope. Even if someone blames you, opposes you, or gives you negative attention, transform that energy into a higher vibe. See your presence, your vibe. Take delight in aligning with your soul to make a definite and creative impact alongside your beautiful presence. This card brings you truly good news. It's a sign that you are up to being more and giving more. So you're up to the task of being more and giving more. This is auspicious. You have the capability or sorry, the capacity to be the change you desire. You have allowed yourself to learn to understand and you are preparing yourself for your life. Keep growing, flowing and glowing. Ooh, keep growing, flowing and glowing. I like that, okay? As you refine your own language of love and give more, you will witness others become more radiant, successful and attractive alongside of you. This is your time to master becoming radiant. Raise your spiritual practices on every level and never, ever, ever look back. Congratulations on a good effort. Don't compare yourself to others again. Your path is incomparable and you are unique and invaluable. Wow. Wow, Cancer. So you've been feeling a little down on yourself and I feel like you've been allowing Cancer other people around you speaking negatively about you to really change the way you see yourself. And that ain't, that is not where it's at. And I feel like because they've changed the way you see yourself, it's changed the way that you've come off to others. And in in, 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 instead of coming off to others in a positive light, you've been coming off in a more negative light because you've been believing negative things or, you know, practicing negative self-talk here in some type of way, shape or form. I just feel this energy that your blockage is being positive and having confidence in yourself, listening to your intuition and following the visions that you see with your third eye. And I feel like the most prevalent issue that you're having is having this hope, having this happiness in yourself and believing that you're attractive. Maybe somebody acted like they didn't want you. Maybe they called you ugly, but that's not who you are. And I feel like that's what these cards are saying. Okay, so what will my cancers be facing in the near future? What will my cancers... Leveling up, bitch. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, sir, ma'am. You are leveling up in life. Okay. So you could be getting a promotion in the near future. What else are my cancers experiencing in the near future? You could be getting some type of promotion. You could be moving to a new place, buying a house. Okay. What else?
else on my character is coming in contact? Ooh, missing piece. Okay. So something. Hmm. Maybe you're missing a piece on how to level up. Or you're trying to figure out how the best way is to level up. Behind the scenes and caution. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening you can't see. So proceed with cautions. I don't like that. That missing piece behind the scenes and caution. You you don't cancer, you missing something. You don't see something that's that I feel like that's what I said with this third eye. Your perception of a person or a situation is is skewed because you don't see yourself in the most positive light. Confusion, yes, at the bottom, Lord. Confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. Because I was confused too with this leveling up and then all of this shit. Maybe you're about to take a job where Maybe they're not giving you all the details of your responsibilities and I feel like you need to be cautious. Um, I feel like you feel that you're doing better in life and maybe you may be having some depressive states that you still have not tackled the reason for and, and, and it may be causing some confusion or I feel like a relationship could be going to the next level but you're missing something and you don't see something is going on. Maybe you don't see that this relationship is about to go to the next level, but there's something that you should be cautious of because I feel like you're confused or your, 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 your intuition is blocked. Jesus performer is at the back of the deck entertainment industry. So you could be dealing with somebody in the entertainment industry, or you could be a performer, actor, actress, um, public speaker, poet, like someone who's in the public eye. Okay, so let me get some romance angels. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Something is going on here. I'm a little, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little confused. Let me get some more insight with these romance angels, please, guardian angels. Please show us a little bit more information for my cancers so we can clarify this, what they're gonna be dealing with in the near future. And y'all be sure to go check out my other videos for cancer. I have all the cancer videos in your own, very own playlist. I have all the collective videos in your very own playlist. And if you missed the talk time tarot session and you're a more enlightened individual that wants to improve upon your life, you may want to go check those out in my talk time tarot playlist, okay? So what, what other insight can you offer for my cancers in regards to the situations in the near future? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm. So yeah, maybe you feel like, I feel like some of you guys are feeling like your relationship isn't going anywhere, but you don't know that there's actually something about to happen. You're about to level up in romance or your life or your career. It says children, your love life is being affected by children. So maybe somebody is not telling you that they have kids or that they have a baby on the way. I'm really over that shit, to be honest with you. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. So maybe you're about to get married to somebody who you may not be needing to get married to, or you're about to go to the next level with someone, either fuck because this sacral chakra card is here, or be in a relationship with them when they could be hiding a child, a marriage, or another partner. New love is at the bottom. And give your relationship a chance is at the back. Ooh. I feel like you've given this person a lot of chances. Whoever may be hiding something from you, I feel like you've given someone a bunch of chances. I also feel like you guys are feeling discouraged because you could possibly have kids and maybe you don't realize that you're about to meet somebody who's going to level your life up or, or push you to the relationship status that you want to be in, actually marry you. But you feel like maybe your children are in the way of you dating or something like that. And I feel like you're about to meet someone who doesn't care if you have kids or not. I feel like there's a new love coming that actually likes the fact that you've had kids. Maybe they didn't. Oh, shit then mm, maybe that was right um maybe yeah maybe they didn't want to have kids of their own or they couldn't or it just never happened and they're happy that you already have kids but you're thinking you know behind the scenes that's how they feel but you're thinking that it's going to be a bad thing and that's like a missing piece for you you're not having confidence in yourself or your situation let's see i'm going to use these maruka date night cards to see if i can get some more information y'all be sure to like share and subscribe I know they're date night cards, but I just want to see if they can offer any insight because there's so many cards in the goddamn deck. It just seems useless to only use them for date readings, okay? 
So, what other information, guardian angels, can you provide for my cancers? Okay, sex. I knew it. That's the sacral chakra is your testicles and your ovaries. Some of y'all are thinking about fucking somebody. Maybe it's a Leo you're thinking about fucking. But I feel like you're missing something or you're thinking it's going to go to the, a new level. But, <sighs> okay. I physically crave you. I fantasize about all the sexual things I want to do to you. Oh, my God. So maybe you feel like you had kids. People are not going to find you as attractive. And I feel like your guardians want you to stay optimistic about your love life. Oh, because you're about to have some butterfly feelings. New love. Oh, I want to lavish you with attention and give you the best. Oh, Lord, Castle. Let me see. Secret date. Ooh, let's keep this date a secret for now. Nobody else needs to know. See, mm -mm. that's what I'm talking about. I, let me tell you something, Cancer. What I feel is these are two different energies. I feel an energy of a new person that you have not met. I feel like they're going to level up your love life. You are missing it because you don't see them coming. And behind the scenes, I feel like your guardian angels are working this out for you. And whatever you're doing right now, you need to be cautioned because whoever the fuck you're dealing with, is just wanting to deal with you to have sex with you. And you haven't done it, but I feel like you're thinking about doing it or you guys were hesitant about doing it and you were confused about whether or not it's the right decision to make. I feel like a lot of you guys are settling for someone who only wants to fuck you and settling for someone who wants to keep you a secret or keep you as an option because you're not sure if anyone else will accept your kids or anyone else will want to marry you. And this person gave you a little, little funky attention and... You don't have the self-confidence or your intuition is blocked to where you can't see. You're confused. But see, Luxurious is here again. Planning. I did a lot of research and preparation for our date. Mm. I feel like there's a new person that you don't even see that you're about to cross paths with or that's been admiring you from afar. And I feel like they're going to be much better than whoever the fuck you're dealing with. I'm going to just be honest. I feel like there are two people here. I feel like there's a new love and I feel like that you're thinking about fucking somebody that I really don't think. I feel like you need to be cautious or you need to make sure you have some type of protection. Don't fuck no don't fuck these don't fuck none of these bitches raw. Okay, don't fuck none of these none of these uh motherfuckers raw. Okay, let me just keep it real cuz that's what I'm getting right here. Secret date, sex and caution. Behind the scenes, you don't know this motherfucker is burning or you're missing that. I don't, shh, man. I feel like you feel like they're trying to take it to the next level with you because it is. But I, I oh no. I just feel like this is, mm -mm. I'm getting, I'm getting the big red flags here. I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. I'm not playing these games. Ooh. Mm. Somebody want to take you out on a date. Who's the bottom card? Give your relationship a chance. So, yeah, I feel like give yourself a chance to be with a new love who actually cares about you. I feel like you've given whoever this is who's wanting to keep your shit a secret enough chances. Okay. Guardian Angel, so what is coming towards my cancers in the near future? What are they dealing with in regards to this situation? Strength. Damn. Is it a Leo or is it a motherfucking Leo? Because you got the sun card and the strength card. I feel like you're going to have to have a lot of strength. I feel like you're going to... I, Cancer, I feel like in the near future, you're going to be being called to be very strong about waiting for whatever. Because I saw the worth waiting for card as well, right above the give your relationship a chance. I feel like whatever you're actually wanting, you're needing to be strong right now because it's worth waiting for. And you need to give yourself a chance to meet that person who actually fits your needs and not somebody who you're trying to fit into your needs. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't make a, a, a don't don't put a don't put a square peg in a circle hole. It just don't fit. It just don't fit. Hmm. So you're either holding back from somebody, you're trying to be strong and resist somebody, or you're trying to be strong and hold on to the idea that someone better is gonna come along. And I feel like you're very confused. Okay, confusion, seven of cups. You don't know what decision to make. You could have a lot of different options. King of Pentacles at the back. 
I feel like you're trying to be strong, but you're trying to ignore this decision. I really, I really feel like you're focusing on work, putting yourself into your work a lot to um kind of ignore what's going on. Okay, y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ooh. What else is going on in the near future? Ten of Wands. Ooh, you're trying to hold on to something that just is a burden. Everything is on you, Cancer. Everything, what else? Everything is on you with this Ten of Wands. The moon, Jesus, and this person is keeping secrets. Confused, that's more confusion right there with the moon card, uncertainty, secrets being kept, not knowing what the fuck is going on, not knowing what, what, what path to take, what choice to make. Also, having the drive to want to move forward, even in uncertainty, you're needing to meditate here. I feel like you're holding on to something that is past time for you to release. And I feel like you just don't know how to release this person. You could be just so sexually attracted to this person or they could just bring so much light into your life when they come. But when they're gone, it's like, damn, the darkness is real. The silence is so motherfucking loud. Mm, could be a Capricorn, but I feel like this is a toxic connection. I feel I felt that since that fucking behind missing piece behind the scenes and caution came out. I feel like you're dealing with a toxic lover. Yes, from your past. I did not want to have five cards, but I'm gonna take it because cancer. I feel like y'all need it. Se secret lovers. That's what we are. Trying so hard to have. Okay, I I feel like yeah, and, and and it's a six of cups. So I feel like it's someone who you feel like is a soulmate with this lovers six of cups. Someone who you feel very drawn to, very attached to. Maybe you feel like this is your twin flame, but they're keeping your love a secret, or they're not telling you how they truly feel. Someone is holding back from you, and it's becoming a burden, not knowing how they truly feel. And I feel like they're putting all the energy on you. This could be somebody from your past. Okay, but damn, are they, they... I feel like you're codependent on this person. And I feel like they're super toxic on some bald head motherfucking whole shit. You can never depend on this person. I feel like they're always traveling somewhere. They're always trying to make you... Like, I don't know. Oh my God. What's the strength? It's like they're trying to make you be the one who's faithful. But they're the one who's always having infidelity issues what's the strength card in the ten of wands sagittarius maybe gemini cancer pisces possibly a scorpio what's the strength card in the ten of wands please guardian angels one at a time please guardian angels thank you so much for all that you do please one at a time okay ten of pentacles so two tens um This could be somebody who you have children with. This could be somebody who you have a family with. You're trying to hold on to it. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to save your family or you're trying to save a relationship where you have um, mm, kind of intertwined interests, whether it be with money, a business, or children. But I feel like it's reaching an ending point. What's the Ten of Wands in the Moon card? It's becoming too hard for you to hold this up by yourself, Cancer. And that's really what I feel like is going on. Or you're trying to hold back from someone from your past. You're trying not to, you're trying to be elusive. You're trying not to show how much you love this person. But you feel this soulmate attachment and it's becoming hard for you to hold back. Okay, five of cups. Yes, and the secrets, the instability, the not knowing how they feel or not being able to express how you feel is becoming too much. I feel like you're also grieving whatever family dynamic that you might've had with this person in the past. I feel like you want that old thing back. Okay. But I feel like it's never going to be the same. I'm just going to keep it real. I feel like they want you to be a secret. What's the moon and the lovers? Because this is a secret date, right in the middle of a secret lover. You Okay, I'm just saying. What's the moon and the lover's card? What's the moon and the lover's card for my cancers? I was about to call you Gemini. So you could be really dealing with a Gemini or a Leo, Cancer, or Pisces. Mm. What is this moon card and the lover's? Something don't want to come out. Oh, the Emperor. So it could be an Aries, possibly Scorpio. Maybe an Aquarius. 
I feel like you're um, regretting allowing, I, I feel like you're regretting or resentful or, or upset about how much control this person has over your life or how much control you feel they have over your life. Cancer, I feel like this is someone you're avoiding. You're not showing how much they affect you. You're trying to focus on work and other responsibilities, possibly your family. You're trying to hold back from this person, hold back your love because they want you to keep it a secret. Like either they already have a marriage, you do, or like someone is already a father figure here, mother figure. Someone is already in a commitment. Someone could be, this person could possibly be your boss and they don't want the company to find out that they're fucking with you, but... It's like you feel like they use this as an excuse just to get over on you, to get sex. But you feel like you're so, this is your soulmate and it's getting hard for you to ignore those feelings. I feel like it's depressing you knowing that you have to keep this relationship a secret. Wow. I, I, I'm really getting some fucking mistress vibes. Not mistress like, yeah, like mistress vibes. Like fucking with a, with a superior, like a mistress of a school or something like that. Or fucking with your boss or somebody who's married or you are what's the lovers in the six of cups somebody possibly from your past somebody who you've already dealt with this could have actually been somebody that you were married to but they could have moved on you could have moved on and then they already got somebody else and now y'all are fucking with each other again okay the hierophant see wedding marriage card commitment card fucking ten of pentacles the emperor Yeah, like you were married to this person in the past and now they got somebody else and y'all started back fucking? Yeah, like you got divorced or something? Gemini, I mean, damn, I keep saying Gem. It's gotta be a fucking Gemini. Maybe a Libra or a Taurus, three of Pentacles. I feel like you tried to work on this in the past or you guys, you tried to work on this marriage, but I feel like it was all on you, Cancer. Or this is what you did to somebody else. And you, I feel like you don't want to lose this connection. You don't want to lose this relationship. You don't want to lose this marriage. You don't want to break your family apart. What's the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Cups? What's the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Cups? Wow. And either you're trying to hold back from this person or you're trying to be strong and keep this a secret while this person is kind of just, you know, flip-flopping around doing whatever the fuck they want, okay? The hangman, okay, okay. Yeah, so I feel like you're stuck to this situation because you guys have children together or you've already put in a lot of work. Ugh, you can't, so you got to get over that shit. I feel like you've already put in a lot of work and you don't want to flounder it. You don't want to see it just fall after all this you put in. You don't want to lose this person because you feel like you'd be losing all this effort and energy. But I feel like you're seeing this from a different light. I feel like in the near future, you're about to start realizing that this is too fucking much on you. To either keep your feelings a secret or keep this situation a secret with your boss. I feel like this is really like your boss or your teacher. Somebody who plays a lot of games with this motherfucking chessboard. Who, who doesn't express their true love to you. Who tries to keep you a secret. It's a game to them. What's the five of cups in the emperor? What's the five of cups in the emperor for my cancers? Six of wands. Hmm. Yeah, and I feel like you're stuck to this. I feel like you can't move on from this. You can't get over this person because of how much work you put in and you saw it being successful or you felt like your love would lead to marriage here. This will be your husband or your wife, but you're realizing that it's not turning out that way. What's the emperor in the hierophant? Could definitely be a Taurus, Libra. Ace of Wands, okay. I feel like you are trying to take control of this situation. I feel like you want a new beginning with this person. This just leads me to believe that either this is a boss or an authority figure who you want to have a beginning with, who you feel like you would be victorious with if they would stop keeping you a secret. Or this is someone who you already were married to, who you know from your past, who you rekindle something with, and they're already with someone or you're already with someone else. And y'all are fucking around in, 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 the, in the dark. I just heard the fucking freaks come out at night song. Get out of here. What is the hangman in the six of one? Get the fuck out of here, cancer. 
Okay, what is the hangman in the six of wands? What is the hangman in the six of wands? Seven of cups. Yeah, you're trying to weigh out your options. You don't know what to do. You're confused of whether or not this is going to work out if you try it again. Like if this was already your ex-husband, ex-wife, baby mama, baby daddy, is somebody from your past who you were committed to or had a connection to, had some type of contract with. So I feel like you're you're unsure. What, whoever it is, whether it's your boss, your damn teacher, somebody from your past, an old ex-husband, ex-wife, or just somebody who's keeping you a secret, you're trying, you're confused as to whether or not this is going to work out because you've already put so much work into this. You don't even know if this person really fucking with you that hard like that. And I feel like you, you see it working out, but you're not sure because either this person has options. They've made that clear. They're not going to remove their options. They want to keep you a secret or it's because it's just, there's, there's not enough information from this other individual. What's the six of wands and the ace of wands? But you want a new beginning here. So, wow, three of cups flipped all around. So, I just feel like that symbolizes rolling around with somebody. So, I, I'm sorry, with the seven of cups and the three of cups, whoever it is that you're dealing with, or this is you, who has other options and is keeping someone else in an entanglement or they're keeping you in an entanglement. And I also feel like you're just confused as to whether or not you should reconcile with this person, especially if they were someone from your past. You're not sure if it'll work out. You're not sure if you guys can start over, but that's what you really want to do. Or you think that's what you want to do. And you're trying to figure out what's the best option. You're trying to be ethical about it, I feel. What's the seven of cups and the three of cups? Y'all be sure to like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And if you can't donate financially, that's a, that's a beautiful donation. Okay. Ten of Cups. Wow. Yeah, you're not sure if you can be happy with this person if you guys do reconcile. You're unsure because with the moon, the Six of Wands, all this right under, I feel like you're not sure and you're uncertain as to whether this is going to work out. But you're still dealing with it, though. And I, But I feel like in the near future, you guys are going to decide. You're going to get your confidence back. I feel like you who are lacking confidence, which made you had a lapse in judgment, Blocked your third eye, blocked your intuition, and maybe it was a sexual thing. You know, the, the P or the D was driving your ass, okay? The dick was too good. It was too long and too strong, okay? Or that pussy was too wet. I'm just keeping it real. That's what it looked like is going on here. And you went back to that shit. When you know damn well. I feel like ultimately you guys are going to decide to be independent in the near future. To put your mind and your energy and your efforts into work. And I really feel like when you do that, this new love that that I felt like was coming in is going to be able to recognize you and see you. Keep it real. So let's do some moonology cards and see what your guardian angels want you to know. Cancer in this situation. Y'all are the first ones so far to get five cards at the top. Because your cards just wanted to come out. And I felt like that was important. And I really do feel like it was. It would have changed the whole trajectory of the reading had that Six of Cups not come out. Because whether you've known this person in the past, before or not, whether it was someone you just started dealing with from your recent past, far past, or whether you just feel like you've known this person in a different life, I feel as if you're trying to weigh your options out to see where it's going, but the fact that they don't want to be honest about it or somebody does not want to let this relationship be known to the public or publicized, I feel like that's fucking it up. So if you know that's you, you're fucking it up. If it's the other person, they're fucking it up. And that's why you're confused. And I feel like it's going to ultimately ultimately be better for you to be single. Okay, but whatever. It's whatever y'all want to do. Um, let's see, Guardian Angels. What do my Cancer Spirit guys, Guardian Angels, what does God want them to know in regards to this situation? Mm, see, meditate and contemplate. I know I said that earlier. New moon in Pisces. So the signs that I see are the strength card, which is Leo. Okay, we got can um, the hangman, which is Pisces to me. So the strength card is Leo, Pisces, Cancer of Pisces right here. Aries, possibly Scorpio or Aquarius. Gemini, Taurus, Libra. Yeah. And new moon in Pisces. So you need to meditate about this because there's something you're missing. And behind the scenes, either you don't know this person is married or they're fucking with their ex-wife, ex-husband. Or you're not understanding that this person only wants you for sex. 
and they have other options and they may be dealing with other people and you may just be ignoring it because you don't feel like you can get anybody better or you're not being very optimistic about your love life. You don't feel like you can do better with this level up card. You're missing how, how well you could level up if you leave this person behind. Something like that, okay? What do you need to release? Ooh, Lord, waxing moon. You need to meditate and contemplate on what it is you need to release, whether it be this person or another situation, if you're the one who's keeping somebody else in an entanglement. Last card is the end of a tough cycle approaches. Wow, Capricorn. Gemini actually just got this, so you could be fucking with a Gemini. Um, it says mutable moon at the bottom. Nothing is yet set in stone. So even if you maybe got a divorce from this person, maybe you're being negative. Maybe you're not being confident. Maybe you feel like it's not going to work out when it maybe could. Maybe you guys have grown. But I feel like you are being very one track minded. Is that the right thing? I just heard one track, one track mind. Like it's not a two way street. Like it's only a one way street with you. Hold your vision, fixed moon. So yeah, I feel like you're needing to believe in yourself. I feel like you're needing to find your happiness again. And I just feel like you're not really seeing that because maybe this person is distracting you or Maybe you're allowing somebody to treat you bad in your life and you're thinking that's all you can get when really that shit ain't where it's at. And I feel like in the near future, you're about to be realizing this, okay? So let's get their angel answer card for you, Cancer. Like I said, y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I hate to drill it in the ground, but, you know, people don't respect it. Um, so... What is the most important angel answer for my cancers? Ooh, I love saying that. Opportunity. So yes, I feel like there's going to be a chance for a new opportunity if you realize and meditate on and figure out what you need to release. New love. Opportunity. Remain positive. See? And you're ready. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like y'all fucking around with somebody who you ain't got no business fucking around with because you feel like you can't get nobody else. And I feel like because that's you coming out of a depressive state where you've been very unhappy and you just want some like affection. Don't do it. I Listen, the self-respect that you feel, the presence, the vibe that you give when you hold yourself, even if you feel like you're in control, even if you feel like, you know, if I fuck this person from my past, you know, it ain't gonna worry me because I'm over them or whatever. No, boo-boo. That's a spiritual connection and you don't know what type of shit you're going to bring up. And I just feel like with this seven of cups and this confusion card, if you do that, you're, you're going to be pushing yourself backwards here, Cancer, okay? So I hope this message has helped you guys. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. Remember to stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye, Cancer. Love you. Mwah. Good luck with this because I'm going to be praying for your ass.